of you guys have wondered how the heck does James keep his model cars looking so clean and so fresh. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys a few tips for keeping your 18 scale, 43 scale, 64 scale cars all spick and span clean starting right now. What's up guys? James with Model Cars Houston. If you are looking for a place to find amazing JDM collector grade cars of all scales, all brands, all mix and models, check out www.modelcarshouston.com. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you wanna keep up with this hobby, learn more about it, then this is the perfect hub for everything model car collector grade. All right guys, so in order to keep your model cars clean, you're obviously going to need a couple of supplies and I'll be sure to put some links down in the description below on where you can find this stuff if you don't already have some with you. Uh, first and foremost, you're going to need some polishing pads. They come in a variety of sizes. I've just got some small ones here, uh, just three different ones, but you're not gonna use these too often. But if there are some spots like fingerprints and things that are a little bit harder to remove, you're gonna wanna use uh, some of these. Next, Next, you're going to want some of these makeup brushes. Uh, I'm not gonna start doing makeup tutorials here. However, makeup brushes like this that are super soft are great for getting rid of some of the dust that's on the car. And I'll show you guys how to use that. Fair warning, do not use your wife's makeup brush that, or your girlfriend's makeup brush that's been used unless you want to uh, turn your model car into a different color. So be careful. I I'll put a link down where you can find some of this. But in a nutshell, guys, that's all you're gonna need. Uh, I've got a couple of cars here just to demonstrate real quickly uh, how I go about dusting this stuff. And also, guys, stay till the end of the video where I will share one more secret for keeping all your cars dust free. So one good thing about collector grade model cars is typically you will get them with an acrylic case. Uh, so for example, 64 scale die cast cars, uh, they're going to come in little acrylic cases such as this. So once you're done dusting it, you can put the case on it and pretty much you're not going to get any more dust in there unless there's already dust in there. But that is one advantage. Even for 18 scales, they're set up that way. And there's a couple of variations of boxes you can buy. You can get regular acrylic cases. You can get LED light boxes. And I'll put some links down in the description below where you can find that. Here we have a 64 scale Liberty Walk car. Uh, as you can see on the roof here, you can notice some of the dust that has built up so what you want to do guys is you can actually just take a brush like this and we're just gonna shoot. look at that clean all gone no more dust so I just like to go over it like this get all the dust off especially if you're trying to do a photo shoot or put it with your dioramas this is a great way to just get everything nice and clean so there you go guys, nice and shiny. Anyways, let's see if I can get a fingerprint or two on there. There we go, I've got some marks. So now what you wanna do is you wanna take one of these polishing rags because the brush is not going to get rid of those fingerprint marks and you don't wanna to press too hard with this. So you wanna get one of these pads out and then you can actually rub it and another cool thing about these pads is it gives it like a little bit extra shine and it's great for cleaning it all back up. See that? Nice and clean again. And if you've got some dust that built up, you can get rid of it again with this, gently, lightly. Now this is a die cast, guys, so you can be a little bit more, you know, rough with it. You don't have to be too careful. Uh, you might wanna be careful when you've got license plates like that sticking up. Uh, especially if your car has windshield wipers, you wanna be careful not to snag on that, okay? But when it comes to resin models, you probably wanna be even more careful. And that's the purpose of this one here. This is a 43 scale resin model. Uh, it's got some dust built up right there on the windshield here. But as you can see, it's got windshield wipers there that you wanna be super careful not to hit on that. So you wanna get in here and just go like that really gently. There you go. You've got some on the back window here you can get rid of. You got some on the base here. Mirror areas, wheels. Look at that, there you go. Nice and clean. Yeah, just be careful with that windshield wiper. These little spoiler areas, you wanna be careful as well. So just be gentle, take your time, it's no rush. Sometimes you can even blow it and then brush. All right, there we go, we've got all that dust 
stuff. And also don't forget that there's actually a smaller brush size here too. So with that one, you can actually get into the smaller crevices or smaller little openings uh, that you can't normally get to with the big brush. So be sure to use this small one too, guys, uh, such as this. Big one to work too, but that's how you can take care of resin models. And let's say you had a thumbprint or something on here because you were messing with it. You can actually just take your cloth and just gently kind of rub it out here. You can rub it out on the hood, wherever it might be. But again, just be careful when you're going over it, guys. Not too much pressure. You don't want this thing to break. So look at that. I've just created a ton of dust on that windshield. There we go. Get it off. Go away, dust. See? Nice and clean. Okay. Last but not least, I've just got these two bigger scale models this is an 18 scale one model nsx oe8 oe spec you can see on the roof and the window it's got some dust on there uh, let's see if we can put some fingerprints on here too let's just do that there we go dusting same way right just take the brush go at it be careful it's got windshields here windshield wipers here so just be careful with that, but there you go. You can just brush all that off, brush, brush, brush. Oh, look at that, it's great for little areas like this. See how it gets all up in there? It, dust might build up in that rear diffuser right there, and this is a great way to just get up in there and clean it. So there you go, voila. Let's say you got a smudge there, which I've created with my fingerprint marks. You can take this, gently just rub it out, clean it out. Look at how shiny that thing is again. The hood, you can do the same thing. There you go, and Look at all that dust that just came off of that cloth. So you gotta use this stuff in tandem with each other. Now guys, if there's dust on the inside, you're gonna be SOL. There is a way to take the model cars apart, which I will demonstrate in a future video. And then last but not least, the, we've got the die cast car. And the reason why I wanted to showcase this car is because it's got a lot of areas where things can get caught. So windshield, wipers, just be careful with things like that. Uh, there's some stuff in here, especially the hood hinges and hood struts, uh, the door panel, you just wanna be careful. Back here in the engine bay, just do some light dusting. Same method is used just like any of the other cars, but there you have it. And you can use the polish cloth to clean out certain areas on the car as well. So there you go. Try to refrain yourself from using one of these. These are the dusters that you use for keyboards. The, the problem with this is that if you press it too hard, the refrigerant that's inside of this can can blow onto the model car and it may damage it, especially because it's super cold. So if you're careful, you can use this. I've used it in the past for a quick clean and detail, but if you're not familiar with it, guys, please be careful or practice before you use it. If you stuck with me till the end, my other trick to making sure that you don't get any dust or try to minimize as much dust as possible is think about investing in a air purifier. The great thing about air purifiers is that they suck the air in, collect any dust in the air in little bits, filter it through a super fine micron filter, and then it will release clean air. And I will put a link down where you can find that. You don't have to keep it turned on all the time. However, if it's an area where your model cars are at and you're home and you're messing around with it, it's always nice to keep that turned on because when you go back into the room, you may inhibit dust to fly around and that is a perfect opportunity for that air purifier to catch all those dust bunnies. Well guys, I hope that video was helpful. However, I've got a question for you. Do you have any other strategies, tools, or products that you use to keep your model cars clean? If so, leave your comments and suggestions down in the comments below. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, check out the videos in my next slide and I will see you in those videos or my next video.